So what was it like for you growing up in the Heights and not being that um, that cookie cutter expression of beauty, of what they call beauty? A lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-sabotage, a lot of, you know, hurting myself, not physically hurting myself. Like, But because I wasn't your typical, you know, beautiful girl, although I wasn't even the size that I am now, I was, I was skinny. Mm-hmm. But in the world that I was living in, I wasn't. And so I was always trying to convert myself into convert myself into what beauty was for them, not for me, you know, which was to be skinny. Because I always thought I was beautiful, but I always needed to be skinnier to feel more beautiful, Mm -hmm. to get the attention that skinny gets others. When in reality, I've always I've always had, you know, a light and a shine in me because I've always been who I am, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt like I was kind of like compensating for something by having mm-hmm. so much personality, but reality being that that's who I was. But yeah. I felt that way. It was yeah. growing up being the gordita. I was yeah. really hard for me because everybody would always give you that backhanded compliment. I do it tan linda para una gordita. You're so cute for a fat girl. Like, fuck you. I'm cute. Period. Like, what are you talking about? And then the thing is that they give you this self image. It's I, the skinniest I've ever been was like maybe 150. Like after, like you know, after you turn 16, now you become a, a young woman, right? The skinniest I've ever been was like 150 pounds, and I thought I was a heifer. Okay, I went up to like 275 pounds. I era que yo estaba But what I'm saying is that. Regardless, now I've gotten to the point of self acceptance and love that I love myself regardless of the size. Yes, I would like to w- yes. work on myself to like get to a certain size, but that's not the goal. You know what I'm saying? For me, the goal m- more than anything is to be healthy, right, and to feel good in my skin. So you know, I I honestly don't. I hate that people put their shit on you because a lot of the time Mm -hmm. like growing up I feel like a lot of the elders that are around us have body image issues right and they even if let's say you don't even have those issues they project that onto you like you're gonna put out down to outside you know and it's it's hard to fight all the time it gets exhausting honestly it does I mean I grew up being, you know, the chubby friend, the chubby cousin, the chubby sister, you know, the chubby best friend, like the chubby in the group, you know, so it's it's always something that separated me from the rest. No matter how beautiful, you know, I've always been, it always separated me from the rest in every mm-hmm. category that I just mentioned, you know, and not that I was made to feel bad about it because I honestly wasn't. I wasn't bullied in my household. I wasn't called any names like that. I I've always, always loved and supported, and I'm the baby of the family too. So, you know, I've always gotten that love and, mm-hmm. and support. But with that support came the support of when I was doing not so good choices for myself, like yeah. taking those diet pills, you know, yeah. how I was um, always supported in any decision I made. So, you know, I, I did understand where that came from, right? Because they just want to see me happy, and to me, happiness looked like that. Yeah. So now that I am everything that I am now, you know, I, I show my body on Instagram 100% to what it is. And I, my, my weight fluctuates, so does my shape. Like, and I just accept all of that because that's just my happiness and the place that I am at the moment. And mm-hmm. that's, that's the only thing that we can do in order to continue to move forward in a healthy way, you know. So they accept me in this form now but with the self-love and, you know, pushing body positivity and self-acceptance, they accept that for me. They accept that it comes from me. They accept that my journey has led me to where I am today. So, you know, with full circle, right? Yeah, I celebrate that because honestly, not everybody feels like that about themselves. And and I remember growing up looking in the mirror and not being happy with what I saw, but it wasn't so much that I thought I was ugly. It was just kind of like, you know, everybody else was like, oh, tú tienes que rebajar, tú tienes que rebajar. And, like, you have to lose weight. But, you know, it, it's just, it, it it's really crazy how people can mold the way you perceive yourself, you know. And it takes a lot of work 
to accept yourself and love yourself for who you are. You know? Yes. Yes. It takes a journey, right? You don't you don't just snap your fingers and make those and make those changes and it's never going to work like that with anything. Mm-hmm. And nothing easy, uh, nothing good comes easy. Mom, I just want to